Did you know that heart attacks and strokes are some of the leading causes of death worldwide? It's a scary thought, but the good news is that there are simple things you can actually do to lower your risk. And one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal that I've been actually consuming for the past years now is nitrate. Now I have two different groups of audience watching. I have audience A wants to know the answer right away. And I have audience B who like to understand how it works and the science behind it. But for both the groups, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. So for audience A, in the presence of nitric oxide, which is produced from nitrates, there are no heart attacks and no strokes. It's that simple. Nitrates are a game changer when it comes to cardiovascular health and incorporating them into your diet or through supplement can actually make a massive difference. And if you are interested in the supplement for the one I use, the link is listed within the comments. Now for audience B, who like to actually understand how it works and the science behind it, let's dive a little deeper. See, nitrates are compounds found naturally in certain foods, particularly vegetables like beetroot, arugula, and celery. So when you consume these foods or take a nitrate supplement, your body converts the nitrates into a molecule called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is like a molecule that tells your blood vessels to relax and widen, allowing your blood to flow more easily. It's like having a team of tiny construction workers in your body working to keep your blood vessels open and clear. So by helping your blood vessels stay relaxed and open, nitric oxide can actually lower your blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and most importantly, prevent blood clots from forming, which are the primary culprits behind heart attacks and strokes. So if you're interested in learning more about the incredible supplement and how to use it correctly, I invite you to watch the full video. As I promise you, I won't bore you with too much scientific data or studies, but I will provide you with all the essential information you need to understand the power of nitrates and how they can actually optimize your cardiovascular health. And here's a fun fact before I continue, the discovery of nitric oxide role in cardiovascular health was so groundbreaking that it won a Nobel Prize. That's right, this tiny molecule has been recognized by the scientific community as a crucial player in maintaining a healthy heart and blood vessels. So first things first, let's talk about blood clots. These clots are usually our friends, helping us, of course, heal and stay safe when we get a cut, let's say, or injury. When you get a wound, your body in natural clotting process kicks in to stop the bleeding and start the healing process. However, sometimes clots can actually form inside your blood vessels when they shouldn't, and that's when things can get very dangerous. And when a clot forms in the wrong place, it is like having a massive traffic jam in your body. The clot blocks the flow of blood, preventing oxygen and nutrients from reaching vital organs like your heart or brain. And if the clot is big enough, or if it actually breaks off and travels to a critical area, it can cause a heart attack, stroke, or even a life-threatening condition called pulmonary embolism, where the clot gets stuck in your lungs. See, Mother Nature has actually provided us with a powerful ally in the fight against blood clots, and that's where nitrates comes in. See, nitrates are actually compounds found naturally in certain foods, particularly vegetables like beetroot, arugula, and celery. So when you eat these foods or take a nitrate supplement, your body converts the nitrates into a molecule called nitric oxide. But the question is, how much do we require to allow nitric oxide to stay active in our bodies? That said, I will go into a specific intake of these vegetables and or how much supplemental dose is required. So you already know that nitric oxide tells your blood vessels to actually relax and widen, allowing your blood to actually flow more easily. It helps keep platelets from getting too sticky by regulating the production of a molecule called thromboxin A2. And thromboxin A2 is like a stickiness switch for platelets. When there's too much of it, platelets become more likely to clump together and form a clot. So by reducing the production of thromboxin A2, nitric oxide helps keep platelets from uh, getting too sticky, of course, reducing the risk of unwanted clots. 
But the benefits of nitric oxide don't stop there. It also helps keep the lining of your blood vessels called the endothelium healthy and functioning properly. See, the endothelium is like a non-stick coating for your blood vessels, preventing things like platelets and inflammatory cells from sticking to the walls and causing damage. And when the endothelium is healthy, your blood can actually flow smoothly and easily, reducing the risk of clots and other cardiovascular problems. So now that we know how important nitrates and nitric oxide are for preventing blood clots, so let's talk about how you can get more of them in your diet. And the easiest way is to eat more vegetables, especially arugula and beetroots. So here are some simple tips to help you get more nitrate-rich foods into your diet. So one, blend up a beetroot smoothie. Beetroot is one of the second richest dietary sources of nitrates. Try blending up a beetroot smoothie with some apples and ginger for a delicious and nutrient-packed drink. Requirement is actually 300 grams of beets to yield 500 milligrams of nitrate and to allow nitric oxide proper conversion to last up to two to four hours. Number two, add arugula to your salads and meals. Arugula is the most powerful green source of nitrates and it's easy to add to anything. Requirement is 250 grams per intake to produce 500 milligrams of nitrate for a proper conversion that would last as well two to four hours. And if you do find it challenging to get enough nitrate rich foods in your diet, you might consider taking a nitrate supplement. See, nitrate supplements typically come in the form of beetroot powder extract of 25% or higher combined with a potassium nitrate which is heavily concentrated and easy to consume once absorbed into your blood nitric oxide will be activated for six to eight hours giving your arterial system a full relaxation without any cause of oxidative stress like some of the amino acids such as arginine or citrulline where they tend to cause induced nitric oxide so while nitrates are a powerful tool for preventing a blood loss and promoting cardiovascular health, they're not the only piece of the puzzle. To keep your heart and blood vessels healthy, it's essential to adopt a balanced diet, uh, regular exercise, stress management, and avoiding harmful habits like smoking or excessive alcohol consumption. And a heart-healthy diet should be rich in seasonal fruits, some vegetables, grass-fed, grass-finished proteins, and healthy fats like olive oil, coconut, and animal fats. Consume foods that are particularly good for your heart, include uh, berries, fatty wild fish like salmon, sardines, sable, and if you enjoy nuts, make sure they are sprouted to reduce the anti-nutrient effect. And of course, dark chocolate of 85% or higher if you do not have much issues with oxalates. Regular exercise is another crucial component for a heart-healthy lifestyle. See, aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise at least three times a week. This can actually include activities like brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or even dancing. Exercise helps keep your heart strong, your blood vessels flexible, and all of which can actually lower your risk of blood loss and other cardiovascular problems. Stress management is another often overlooked aspect of heart health. Chronic stress can actually contribute to high blood pressure, inflammation, and other risk factors for blood clots and heart disease. Finding healthy ways to manage stress such as grounding, deep breathing, yoga, or even spending time in nature can actually help uh, keep your heart and blood vessels healthy. Finally, it's essential to avoid harmful habits like smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and heavily processed foods made by corporations to actually keep you sick. Smoking is one of the biggest risk factors for blood clots and heart disease as it does contain more than 98 chemicals. It's not pure tobacco as it damages your blood vessels and makes your blood more likely to clot. And if you currently smoke, Quitting is one of the best things you can actually do for your heart. So in conclusion, nitrates are a powerful tool for preventing blood clots and promoting heart health. See, by eating more nitrate-rich foods like beetroot, arugula, and other leafy greens, or even taking a nitrate supplement, you can help keep your blood flowing smoothly and reduce your risk of a life-threatening clots. So remember, your heart works hard for you every single day, so it's up to you to give it the support it needs to keep being strong for years to come.